This is terrifying for me because I've, I fish all the time. I have lots of friends that fish and most people don't know about this. This is a health alert tonight for dog owners. Tonight, a local family is warning about a risk that only exists in the Pacific Northwest. Now, you may have heard of salmon poisoning before, but you may not realize just how easy it is for dogs to get it. We talked to the owner who found this one out the hard way. It's so heartbreaking to see a dog that you love so much going through that that pain. Dan Minter is relieved. His dog, Samantha Pooches, is finally able to play again after what she went through. She went on a fishing trip with Dan along the Trask and Wilson Rivers. A week later, she started going downhill fast. She started having diarrhea and threw up a little bit, and then that would just didn't stop. But she wasn't eating or, and she wasn't drinking. Once the vet heard she'd been on a fishing trip, she had a pretty good idea what was wrong. Well, salmon poisoning is it's a little bit complex. It occurs only in this area of the world. It's um, actually a bacteria that lives inside of a, of a parasite that lives inside of salmon, steelhead, and trout. Dr. Kristen Girard didn't treat Samantha herself, but she works at the Tannisborn Veterinary ER that did. She says when vets hear a dog spent time around water, salmon poisoning is one of the first things they look for. We do see it all the time. But the real surprising part of this, a dog doesn't actually have to get a fish or even a piece of fish in their mouth to get infected. I didn't see her eat any salmon. I didn't see any salmon lying on the bank. Dan didn't even catch a fish that day. Just the remnants of the fish that contain the bacteria can be enough, and it can be left behind by other animals. Anything that you can think of that would hunt or grab a fish, they're not exactly hygienic about it. So they grab it, they clean it off, they eat it, and then there's fish residue, which might be contaminated, which the dog would go over by the creek or the river and just sniff around. It can happen so fast and it can happen without your knowledge. The poisoning is deadly in 95% of dogs, but only if they don't get the right treatment and get it early on. She's getting better now. She's on the mend, which is great. So you really have to just pay attention to your dog, the way they're acting. It can take anywhere from three days to three months for the symptoms to start showing up in your pet. And if you notice them getting lethargic, maybe, if they're not eating after you have taken them back from the beach or from the water somewhere in your rivers or streams, it's safest to get them checked out right away.